The word imolk stems from the older oimilk, which means of milk or in the belly. Traditionally, it was a time when the ewes from the sheep flocks began lactating, having just given birth. This was an incredibly important time for our ancestors, as the winter's stores would be running low and the fresh milk available would provide nourishment and sustenance to get people through until the first crops began to appear. Fresh butter, cream and cheeses could be made to supplement the restrictive winter diet. Emolk occurs around the beginning of February if we're working with the traditional gestation period of the ewes. If we're following the calendar, the dates for Emolk are January 31st to February 1st. As the Celtic day began at sunset, we start the night before. Emolk is often confused with the Christian holy day of Candlemas, which occurs on February 2nd. For those who celebrate Emolk by the signs in the vegetation, it's when the first snowdrops appear, pale white and green against the stark grayness of winter. Emolk is a holiday that is dedicated to the goddess Bridget. She is so entwined with the season and the time that most traditions honor her in some way during this festival. She's the goddess of poetry, smithcraft, and healing, and is also seen as a goddess of spring. She is the sacred waters of the wells and springs, and the sacred flame tended first by 19 priestesses, and then later by 19 nuns dedicated to her in the guise of St. Bridget. There are many customs associated with Bridget and Imolk. It's the time when Bridget walks the land, and so offerings of milk, butter, cheese, and beer are left to sustain her and thank her for her gifts. The hearth fire is extinguished, the hearth is swept clean, and a new one lit in honor of the lengthening days and the return of the light. As Bridget is said to visit every house, a piece of cloth or ribbon is left out all night, to be covered with dew and then brought inside just before the sun rises. This cloth can be used to bless and heal for the rest of the year and is known as a brat breed. A bridey doll can also be made, a poppet that represents the goddess, which is laid down in a small bed made for her so that she may pass the night in comfort and peace. Sometimes this doll is made from the last sheaves of the previous harvest and prayers are said over it to bring abundance for the coming year. Bridget's crosses are woven at this time of year and it is traditional to use rushes, also called bulrushes, that have been pulled from the water, not cut. Imolk is a gentle holy day, one of welcoming and rejoicing in the longer days and counting our blessings during the cold nights. Thank you.